Ronald Bailey is the founder and executive director of Trill Forever. He's also the head girls basketball coach for Gehanna Lincoln and the author of the book, The Quiet Storm. Also, he wants to remind you, he's a Cleveland, Ohio native. 216 in the house, anybody? Was it my disability? Was it my traumatic experience that stopped me from executing my goals? Megan, please tell me, how can I, what's the thing? Reach higher, dream bigger, or achieve more when my perspective was limited. Can you please introduce yourself and tell us a bit about your background? Yep, uh, I'm Steve King. I'm assistant principal at Gahanna League High School. Um, um, I've been in education for about 17 years now. My name's Jade, and I go to Chris Ray Columbus. There, I worked at a couple of different jobs because we have a work study program. So, my first year, I worked at Local Matters. Right now, I am a walking testimony. I am hope. Because everything that I went through in the past, man, I overcame it. How has Coach Bailey's message impacted you personally or professionally? I like it. Really struck my heart because I'm the type of person I want people to be there for me. But I've like been realizing that I have to show up for myself. And today, I actually did show up for myself. Like I was, I came here by myself, and um, I just. Yeah. Basically, like it just like it just really stuck with me, and hearing that you have to stand alone, and it's good to stand alone. Mm -hmm. It just really just like yeah. woke some things up for me, and just like made it all come to fruition. So. so, Jay, here's the question I want you to think about: When the people around you do not believe in your dreams, or your mind is giving you false hope, can you stand alone? What are some key takeaways you gained from Coach Bailey's message on ambition? On ambition? Uh, my, my favorite part is that, uh, is that you can either execute your dream or your dreams can be executed. Um, and, and I think that we have to learn to, to know as adults when we're doing one or the other, how are we helping children mm -hmm. um, in terms of are we helping them execute their dreams or are the things that we are telling them or not telling them or not providing them, is that part of uh, executing their dreams or not? So on my journey, this is what I learned. Either you gonna execute your dreams or you gonna execute your dreams. My traumatic situation was sent to execute my dreams, but God gave me the strength. Um, I took away that I can do pretty much anything as long as I put my mind to to it, and as long as I stand out and stand up. Like he really had a positive message. Like he really showed me. I don't know if you guys could tell, but like I have a disability, and um, when he was speaking about his disability, um, it really just showed me that other people have like other people have other things and you really just have to push forward and if I can get to a place where he is where he's speaking to people where he's changing people's lives then I'm, I'm gonna be okay like everything is gonna be okay I'm gonna be able to do what I need to do so thank you I had a disability my cousins always be like hey 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 D what school are we going to we going to Syracuse I'm like yeah we going to Syracuse I wanted to go to Syracuse, but I think I, I didn't think I had the ability to make it through Syracuse because I feel stupid. I feel dumb. See, that was his plan. That was my plan. He was a standout uh, high school All-American football player and went on, went on to earn his Bachelor's of Arts from Gannon University. Ronald's dedication to education, coaching, youth, and leadership was truly inspiring. His passion for these fields has led him to pursue them after See, I was at a crossroad like Bob, like big day around, the weekend is strong, they feel like I'm walking all along. I want to do right so I won't get stoned. However, there were times where I wanted to get stoned. But I can hear that voice in my mind saying, Bailey, Bailey, you got to keep moving on. See, that voice was my...